Hi everybody and welcome to another edition of Fuzzy Fractals Polycraft. This is Andrew speaking, coming at ya. Um, really excited today because I just got word that uh, my good in real life friend Will is going to be joining us on the server, or maybe joining us on the server. So yeah, that should be fun. I'll get to collaborate with him and then we can get together uh, here in town and uh, you know, work side by side maybe and uh, hang out and have some beers and play on the Polycraft server, maybe even record some videos together since it would be super easy to do. Uh, we could even literally be in the same room. We wouldn't even have to have two microphones. Uh, maybe. I don't know. This microphone isn't that powerful. That might not work. But, um, so yeah, uh, the first other exciting piece of news today is that I've changed my skin. This is actually a while ago now. Um, this is my little guy. Uh, let's see if I can show him off like this. So I uh, basically took uh, like a Misfits logo and uh, put it to tiny sized and uh, just made myself kind of all black like a ninja. And then uh, I uh, took, <laughs> I literally did a Google search for blood, found the first image, and then turned it into the, you know, the back and top of my head there. <laughs> so uh yeah. <laughs> uh it's amazing the things you can do in MS Paint if you uh just apply yourself a little bit. Um so yeah. Uh, I guess the first thing I should show you guys is well first I'm gonna put on some boots. I want some boots. Let's see if we can find even just a pair of leather boots would be okay. Maybe I should dye my shirt. I'm gonna dye my shirt. Cause I haven't done I haven't done too much dyeing of things. Where is my this could be it. I don't want to die yellow. That's ugly. That's no fun. Let's see. Do I have any cactus or die green? Actually, lapis or something like that would be good. Where is my lapis? We built this giant storage room and I don't know where anything is. Come on, lapis. Come on. No? Am I just like walking right past it like four times in a row? No. Oh, here's boots. Let's see what kind of boots can I wear. Boots. There's a lot of diamond boots here. Nah, I'll just go for the gold boots. Yeah. Come on. What is going on here? Oh, I know there's a chest full of lapis. But, uh, um, I don't know where. Well, it is summer, so maybe, uh, maybe I should dye my shirt white. <laughs> it looks like iron. <laughs> it's not, though. Yeah, I, uh, it looks kind of lame, but whatever. I just like that. I wish you could dye the other kinds of armor, but that would get confusing, I think, so. Um, I guess, uh, the first thing I'll go show you guys, and this is something I've tried to make a video about a couple times, but just hasn't been working out. Um, the temple that I think I was showing off partially in my last video, or my last posted video, which was a while ago. Um, it's now pretty much near completion. Um, so go show that to you guys and uh... hopefully maybe someone will come back with a little feedback about how it could be more interesting or better um... this is one definitely the biggest project i've ever done um, so yeah i feel a great sense of accomplishment i'm pretty happy with it uh... there's not much more i would change except for maybe just well, you'll see. Um, other than that, I guess mostly what's been going on on the Polycraft server, um, in Lisa Land anyway, has mostly been uh, non making a um, Blaze spawner killer guy thing. And uh, Lisa's been overseas, so she hasn't been playing too much. And I haven't heard much from Maria either recently. So, and I haven't really been playing that much myself. Um, 
but yeah, so there it is. Um, there's a lot more quartz than there was before. Um, yeah, I like it. It's pretty simple, even even still with all the embellishments that I've added. Um, one thing that definitely needs to be changed is this needs to be this path needs to be moved, and it would be cool if it kind of curved around through this little valley there and connected back to the other path that Non has going there. So I've got a semi little bit of a grand entrance um, with some quartz on the inside too, and I've uh, carpeted the floor, put some little tapestries in these areas here. I don't know if there should be some kind of furnishings or I, I wouldn't know how to build an altar really so you just kind of have to use your imagination a little bit but um, used lots of glowstone and kind of finished off the uh, pyramid with a chandelier kind of dealy in the middle so yeah all in all pretty good and as symmetrical as possible <laughs> everything has to be symmetrical or else I get kind of crazy. Um, so, you know, it's really uh, nothing uh, really impressive compared to what some other Polycraft people are doing. Um, one of our newer people, uh, I think he's on right now, Nermoniar. Nermoniar. Yeah, we've just been calling him FNG lately. Um, but, uh, Nermoniar, he, uh, he's been building some crazy stuff, um, he's only been with Polycraft for probably less than a month even at this point, and, uh, his area just looks ridiculous, it's awesome, it's, it's inspiring. What is this? I don't know where this came from. No, I don't want to go down there. Thank you. Um, creeper holes turning into things. Um, so yeah, he's been really uh, pretty impressed with what he was doing over there. And um, yeah. Um, Nanasin and I think Uber are working on a rather large castle kind of thing. And I mean, they're still just sort of planning it out and building exterior walls and stuff. Maybe I'll go show that to you guys if I can't think of anything else. Um, maybe next video, I'm not sure. So anyway, this is the area of my next project, which I'm thinking is going to be a horse racing track of some kind. I've been internally debating whether it should be a straight track, like a drag drag racing track, or if it should be a round track, or if we should build some sort of obstacle course. Um, I'm kind of thinking it would be really cool to do an obstacle course of some kind, um, but it's going to be tricky. So we'll just have to... Uh, Yeah, we'll have to see if anybody's willing to pitch in and help me out, and now that uh, Will's on the server, or will be on the server, Will will be, uh, maybe he'll be willing to help me out, although he still, you know, he hasn't even been on yet. I just got word of this, you know, no more than half an hour ago that Majin is cool with him joining us, so, um, and uh, we'll run it by Lisa to make sure that he, uh, she wants him in our area. Uh, which really, I mean, he's a big boy, he doesn't need, uh, um, me <laughs> to, uh, to hold his hand or anything like that, so I'd be fine if he joined someone else, you know, but he doesn't know any of the other people, obviously, so, uh, might be most logical for him to join us. Um, oh, he, uh, he's really only been playing Minecraft for a couple months, I actually, I got gifted him the game. And uh, we were doing a little playing. I showed him how to set up a server instance, and uh, then gave you know give me his IP, and we were playing on a on a map together. 
Um, but I don't know how he's going to fare this, uh, the Polycraft server plays on hard. Um, which takes a little bit of getting used to, and since he's still pretty new to the game, um, he's probably going to die a lot, and I hope he doesn't get too frustrated. Um, I could see that happening. But, uh, we'll just keep our fingers crossed. So, yeah, I mean, I'm just digging out this area, so it's not really very interesting t viewing. Um... But, I'll just kind of ramble around here. I could make the obstacles with cactus. That would make it super hard. That could be interesting. Um, I don't think it's worth uh, showing off uh, the castle until they're a little farther along on it. Um... It's just basically some stone walls at the moment. Oh, it looks good. It's just uh, it's not a lot of it to look at yet. I don't know, maybe uh, one of these days Corey will uh, record a video. Or possibly Uber. You know, if I can do it <laughs> badly, this is my like fourth time trying to record this video, or, you know, I think this would be polycraft number five for me, so, yeah, this is, like, take six or seven on this one, um, just problems with the microphone, and fraps, and then I recorded one for a really long time, like, had, like, 100 gigs worth of video or something crazy like that, it was mostly, like, me dying, like, I was checking out the ender ender, but I didn't know my way around the end to where, to how to get to it and, you know, died, and then my spawn point for some reason was set at zero, zero, so I like, hike all the way back, and then I, like, I don't know, something happened, I had to go back again, and, uh, it just was kind of a mess, um, but I did get to check out the Ender Ender, and that is pretty damn cool. Um, it's, uh, definitely a, a feat of engineering. And uh, the blaze spawners, I guess a couple people have built blaze spawn killer things now. Blaze killers. <laughs> blaze killers. Um, so that's pretty cool too. I get super amounts of XP. Um, might even be better than the cave spider spawner, I'm not sure. We'd have to have a race or something. I have to do some kind of time test to see which one is better. The And I would the dual cave spider spawner or uh, the blaze spawner. So, but yeah, the blaze spawner is pretty interesting as far as how it works with the pistons, and if the blaze touches the pressure plate, a uh, piston comes out and pushes them, and they fall, fall down to the uh, nearest, yeah, they just fall down into a chamber, basically, and then more pistons crush them from there. So that's pretty clever, and uh, it's, I guess it's Ethos design, so that makes sense. Um, I'm not really much of a watcher of the Minecraft LP videos on YouTube. I don't really know much about uh, that whole thing, but I know that, uh, you know, know a little bit about them from, you know, all the talking that the Polycraft people do about them. Um, but I haven't really watched too many of them, just a few here and there. Has who's has the time? <laughs> I could just spend all my time just watching videos. I would never do anything else. Yeah, this area is gonna need a huge amount of stuff. So, oh yeah, this could take quite a long a bit longer. So, you know, I'll keep recording, but I might cut some of this out or fast forward or who knows what. Let's see. Actually, I am going to cut here real quick. Okay, hi everybody. So we've cleared out this area, thanks to me being able to make this. Fortune, what a waste. Um, but I added it on the efficiency. Um, so now we're going to do a little planning here. Nothing big. I'm going to use the cobble as kind of a 
uh, stand in for whatever we decide to build this out of one day. I'm probably going to need more cobble than that though. Do I have any here? Of course I do. Let's put that back for now. Probably going to need to go get more cobble before we're really done. But, um, so yeah, I think I'm going to go with a circular track of some kind. So, how does a circular track look? There would be, you know, the center dividing line, and then there would be one path going out, and then another path of sorts going back. So let's see, let's try to do maybe 10, because, uh, you know, the horse track itself should probably be 10 wide, so maybe we'll do 20, really, would be, it's too big, but we'll try it, let's just see what happens, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, I think it's going to be too long on this side. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Uh, we can fill that in. This is another couple of rows, so we can maybe make that work. Alright. So 20 would be here, so let's... <laughs> Just fill this in a little bit. And of course, you know, we'll do the outside area. Deal with that much, much, much later. Let's do another couple rows, just to be safe, because I didn't count. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Hopefully that's even. Maybe I should double check, but I'm not going to. One shot, one kill. So now, how do we sort of make this into a real track? Maybe we should do the middle part first. So maybe every five we'll put down a cobble. Two, three, four, five. We'll do it like that. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. No, wait, that's not how I did it before. One, two, three, four, five. 
it's really a six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, six. Ah. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's probably going to be good enough. So then let's go back out to 20 here and here. And we'll know we didn't do it right. Jinx! Just talked on Skype. Oh my god, it's a jinx. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9, 10, 11, 12. Three, four, five, six, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, twenty. Alright, let's walk this back and make sure we're even. Ow. And these headphones kind of make my ears hurt. <laughs> as weird as that sounds. Yeah, it looks like we're good. Let's just follow it all the way to the end and make sure... Ow, my ear hurts. <laughs> That's weird, right? Um, I keep meaning to get torches, but I keep forgetting. So we'll just, you know, wait for this to get destroyed. And that's looking pretty good. It's straight ahead. Okay, that's a good start. And somehow we have to make the track kind of curve. So how are we going to do that? make something curve. Well, we can just sort of... No, that's not going to work, is it? Because then there will be no... Hmm. Let's go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 that way, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 that way. It's kind of like building the temple, everything's symmetrical, it's very important. And then one, two, one, one, two, one, one, two, one, two, one, one, two, one. Okay. Oh, I overshot it a little bit. Basically, this would just be straight here. Ugh, I'm going to have to go somewhere and get more cobble before I can keep doing this. Which is totally going to mess me up because I'm going to forget what I was doing. This is just the way it goes. Um, I should bring a horse out here <laughs> to at least... Yeah, let's do that. Let's grab a horse and a lead and a fence post and see what we can do. Bum, 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 bum. Hello, Mr. Cow. Goodbye. Nice to see you. Yeah, I'm a 
temple is cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool. For me, you know, pretty cool for me. Yeah, let's grab, like, yeah, a little bit of it. Anything else we need that might be here? <laughs> wheat? <laughs> mm, actually, maybe I will need wheat if I grab a cow here, so. Or <laughs> a cow. A, uh, horse. Of course. Fence post. Yes. So we got everything we need here. Let's just. Doesn't really matter which one we saddle up on. Oh, except it needs to be one that's tame. So. Nah, I don't want the white one. The white ones are kind of rare. Okay. Let's go. I know you can get through. Thank you. Okay, anyway. Let's go, Mr. Horse. So if you were a horse, you would go around the track like this. Maybe I can curve that out. That might be better. And then you can come back. Around. Oh, I'm going to need to fill that out, I guess. Yeah, we'll need to uh, round it here somehow, which I think I can do, maybe. I'll just continue with that pattern. two leads to do that? That would be really kind of cool, not cool, man. Maybe I need two leads to tie them up like that? I don't remember having to do that before. But you have to have one in your hand in order to tie them up? I'm not sure. Let's find out. I, my memory is... I, I kind of feel like it should really only be one. You know? But I guess if you don't have one in your hand, how's the game going to know that that's what you're trying to do? So, oh my god, no, that's not cool. So you can no longer see the health of the horse. Maybe the horses don't have health anymore, but that would mean they live forever, so that doesn't make sense. So, I'm kind of confused, and now they took away the jump bar as well. So you have no way of knowing, you know, what the deal is. Let's take one more. Okay. Let's see what it looks like here. Oh yeah, it looks super cool. Why am I riding side saddle? That's just weird. Nobody does that. I guess uh, uh, maybe some people do. I never really... I don't know anything about riding, so... Come on. Let's see, is this going to use a second 
do this or not? No, see it doesn't, but you have to have one in your hand, so that's a good lesson. Or else I just really royally messed that up the first time around, but I don't know. Alright, so what did we do on that side? First we did one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And then we did one, two, one, I think, but let's make sure. exactly what we did it looks like so I feel like this almost isn't big enough but I can't be bothered to make it any bigger than this this is already gonna take a really long time Probably not even going to be close to enough cobble. I mean, brought a few stacks. Just, I mean, I'm not actually going to build this out of cobble. This is just my way of planning it out. Cause, I'm kind of a visual person. If I don't see it, I can't do it. Mm, yeah, it would probably be like that on the other side too. Let's like. Yeah, more or less. Oop, that's gonna mess me up. One, two, one, one, two, one, two, one, one, two, one, one, two, one. And then let's follow it back here. Okay, so yeah, we're lining it up with this. Let's not forget that. So. Okay, so now we've got a nice round area here, but I think this needs to come back a little bit, just like this much. Alright, just for the sake of trying to figure out what the hell I'm doing. Really, in reality, that was like one back. I 
totally lost track of the configuration here, so we're going to totally mess this up. I need it to be symmetrical, and it's not going to be. So let's see from the last one. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seventh. I'll write that down here. Seventh back, and then that's one, two, three. One, two, three on each side. So let's try to follow that. This one really didn't end the same way. One, two, three, four, five, six, no, seven. And we did one, two, one, two. So I'm a little bit off, but I'm pretty close. Yeah, I think I actually had it. I just had those extra blocks in the way. And then one, two, three, one, two, three on each side. So let's go look at that. Yeah, I actually think I got it okay for now. It'll be obvious later. So now that we have this middle area, it's kind of cordoned off a couple blocks to either side of that. One, two, three. Oops. Okay, so we'll consider that the, so all that's going to be like the interior um, observation area, and then we can It's still kind of a tight corner. For the 
furnaces. Yeah, that's a tight corner. That's too tight for a real race. So, let's do this. Let's move all these ones up on the ends. Right, two. Oh, I shouldn't have deleted those. Sometimes I really wish I could go into creative mode to take a look at what I'm doing. And let's assume these first, you know, this is plenty of space on the straightaways, so we can make, we can assume that the stands are going to, like, start. If we, if we do decide to make grandstands, that they could start a little bit in front of this, like here, maybe. I can already tell this is going to be a big project. <sighs> so what's what would be the next thing to do here? Would sort of just be <laughs> deciding what we're going to actually build it out of. Which I don't really... I really don't care. <laughs> I really don't. I could do cobble for all I care, but that would look bad. Um, hmm. I think wood would actually be really logical for, I don't know, I might have to sleep on that and think about it for a little while, or at least just uh, go off video for a little while and uh, think about it on my own, in my, because it might take a while. So, uh, thanks for watching, next time.